All right, there's a stop loss. Not the ideal opening range here, so. There we go. Yeah, do. It would be very favorable to see it start breaking down right now. Now that we just delivered the midpoint above these little highs here. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to put my executions on here. And it's going to look very shaky, but I assure you. <laughs> uh, look at that. Very shaky. I get it. Laugh all you want. No, I'm playing. But I really, this remember, this was a break-even trade. You can clearly see 4279, 4279. That was a break-even trade. Uh, this was a break even trade 4275 four, 4275 four, four, so we didn't lose any money up here we lost the money down here so we lost what so we lost three handles here boom 4271 or 4267 so that's seven handles lost right here and then this was a break even so 4271 exit the trade early so we lost seven handles and then i just gained seven handles so essentially it's a break even day I'm, I'm okay with that in a choppy range like this i'm okay take my money whatever <laughs> take your shit and go that's 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 what i'm thinking right now dear struggling trader you probably clicked on this video thinking i was gonna give you the secret sauce that you've been missing huh that i was gonna give you enigma didn't you? You thought I was gonna just give you that one missing piece. Uh, only if I knew this, I'd be profitable. Only if I had this one little concept, I'd be profitable. I I, I need that secret. What's that one holy grail? <laughs> Is it, that's what you're looking for, huh? Everything that you need to know, understand, is already within you. Success within these candlesticks, it all resides within your mind. So much of what you need to learn just simply comes from experience. Not only do you learn a lot about these candlesticks and how they move over time, but the markets also teach you about yourself, things you didn't even know about yourself. Whatever, whatever is residing deep inside your soul, whatever is down there, the markets will dig the whole way down there and just bring it all out into the light. And rarely show you who you really are. Understand that. Whatever you're going through. Uh, which results from. Failure within these charts. Quote unquote failure. Understand that you're not alone. And that. There's going to be very rough times. Uh, whatever, whatever road that you envisioned. Or whatever you envisioned for your trading journey. It's not going to be anywhere near that vision it's going to be a very rocky long road and whatever time you thought it would take for you for everything to click just go ahead and 5x that number whatever that time threshold that you have for yourself just go ahead and 5x that <laughs> uh it's better for better for your health <laughs> but yeah um so you chosen to be a trader huh you didn't know it was going to be this hard you didn't know that it would start to dictate if your days were good or bad. You didn't know how much it would drive your emotions. You didn't know how much one or a series of losing trades would really affect you. Understand that this takes time. And also understand... Everything that you need to know already is within you. These candlesticks, when it stacks up against psychology and how you execute with your own psychology, your discipline, your risk management, stack up price action against all that and price action means nothing. Everything that you need 
is already within you and within your mind. The mind is way more powerful than you think. <clears throat> As you guys saw uh, in this video here, I did take three losses. Uh, in the very beginning of the video, I showed you uh, just just completely disregard that twenty-one point move that me and my members caught today. Just com just forget about that because that has nothing to do with this video and it, it does not matter the point of the video is there will always be that underlying risk within the marketplace sometimes you won't expect it sometimes the markets will look clean and it ends up dragging around and takes everyone out with that being said I am going to go ahead and review price action here Um, starting on the daily time frame here, we had Monday or we had Monday indecisive candle going back and forth. Uh, inner circles caught the signal for that yesterday, and then today I live streamed. I took three losses on or yeah, I took three losses on the live stream, and then I got a winner to get back at break even. Once again, I'm not gonna mention. I guess I'm already mentioning it, but I'm not gonna talk too much about the 21 point move that we caught after all this <clears throat> but anyways we have this indecisive candle tuesday i was expecting us to take out that previous day's high which is this monday's candle high and then dip up into this inefficiency in price what else i wanted to see us work up into this breaker a little bit more so this down close candle right here I uh, wanted to see at least the midpoint worked in. Uh, we failed to get to the midpoint there, but all that matters is that we got relatively close to it. Another thing I want to shed to light here is midpoint of this wick. Um, we did close a little bit above it, but it's fine. It doesn't have to be per uh, absolutely perfectly precise on a closure basis on the daily time frame, especially since we swept this pool of liquidity. <clears throat> so, now that we've repriced up to those three level price points I wanted to see traded to, this will uh, help me form a narrative going into Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And I'll keep you guys posted that with my live streams and whatnot for the inner circle. With that being said, let's drop down to the hourly time frame. Got the opening midnight opening price here. I'm not gonna put it on here, but you can see in London we came down, traded below the midnight opening price, worked in these down close candles here, and the midpoint of the new week opening gap. Slowly built up into a premium. By the time we got to ten o'clock, we swept this Monday's high. And I called that ahead of time in the inner circle. It was just very sloppy delivery, and that's when I took my three losses. Although, my target that I was looking for was delivered. <clears throat> we do have a bit of SMT forming here. So, NASDAQ cleared these highs right here. Now, if we take our daily range here, we were able to get reach equilibrium. So, above the way above the midnight opening price, we came up, swept Monday's high. And then the market accumulated those buy stops that it swept from took out from the marketplace, accumulated those to then enter shorts to clear the sell side liquidity from the London low. Why is this an important low? Because this is the main low that London made. So we swept that pool of liquidity and returned to what? New week opening gap. Let me go down to the 15 minute time frame. <clears throat> take a take a look at all these wicks here as soon as you see these two 15 minute wicks by 10 o'clock as soon as you see those that's gonna tell you okay i'm gonna wait for this opening range to be set in place and i might just need to wait till the pm session or the rail move that we caught today which was the lunch macro 
<clears throat> so we poked above this high clearly. If we broke down below what? This 15 minute order block, it's not pretty, but this up close candle, we broke down below that. So now what do we have? We have a change in the state of delivery. I don't need a market structure shift to know that we're going to be going lower towards the number one New York session sell side. Look how clean that is there. They engineered that prior to the run up. So it's manipulating everyone to get long after that 930 opening bell, right? And then what does it do? It grabs that buy side liquidity, accumulates that, trades off, changes the state of delivery, reaccumulation right here. And then what? We dump right to the sell side and then the London sell side. Let's go ahead to the 15 minute time, or sorry, the five minute time frame after I mark this out. <clears throat> so within that 15 minute gap I didn't outline it because we had this 5 minute gap here so we had that 15 minute change in the state of delivery now I don't need this but this is the extra confluence we had a market structure shift right below this 5 minute swing bell right here see that the swing low here and then paired with what this 5 minute imbalance we have a not so pretty breaker right here it's more prominent on the lower time frames but I'm not gonna have it on my chart because it's too much but we have a very clear pool of liquidity right here that I called out real time in the inner circle discord so these relative equal New York lows, they're more significant because we have the, it's uh, New York lows that from the opening range, right? And then what did we do? We came back down, got relatively close, engineering more sell side. So whenever they ramped it up here, some people were probably thinking to get long now because we were turning back below the 930 opening, right? And then what did they do? They just rammed it back down. And that just made them more money because <laughs> they engineered more sell side right here. 9.30 opening. Once again, not pretty. But you can clearly see. Yes, they did use the opening once again down here to accumulate longs until the market on close. Yeah, but I'm not going to be covering this price action here. I'm strictly covering what... I was dealing with real time. I, I don't I don't no need to go into hindsight here. So drew the swing up into the buy side of the quarterly and then the daily for value gap right here. We dipped into that. Way above the opening. We break lower and then we retrace up into this gap right here. What else do we have? We had this opening range gap here, this regular trading hour gap. Right below the sell side, stacked up right below there. So that was another high probability target. And then terminus was the sell side of the formed in the London session. So let's go down to the one minute time frame. Clearly this is where I went short here. And here's another one of those psychological barriers. So due to this sloppy opening range, I kind of, I lost my confidence in my trading. Not, not, don't take it out of context. I, I, I know I'm a good trader overall, <laughs> but this just for the morning, it just kind of knocked my confidence and I just didn't feel smooth, I guess. I don't know the word for it, but. I didn't feel confident enough after taking three losses to hold this long. But all in all, I went short right here. Got the seven handles here. Uh, right as soon as I called the trade, I went short at this inverse gap and these up close candles here. I went short there. I was holding. And then I mentioned the 
uh, what was it, 4256 level, so, <clears throat> I'm going to take your attention to this inverse 1 minute gap, so within this 5 minute gap, how do we know it was a high probability to stop here, because we had this inverse 1 minute gap, if it's bearish, it was not going to go above this 1 minute inverse fair value gap, especially since we had the 5 minute right here, and you see it goes up to the very high of that. So, essentially, this low right here, the low of the daily for value gap, it's the same as the Monday's high. So, just reference this as the pool of the quarterly. What do we have? We have a three drives pattern higher right here. So, took liquidity once and then drove it back up a third time to sleep liquidity once more, and then we break down. And that's when I went short. <clears throat> Let me take your attention to the lunch macro. So 11.50 to 12.10. Yeah, I don't like that. Lunch macro right here. This starts the move, right? Obviously I went short prior to that, but the launch macro is when the real move took place so we retraced into that gap what did I say that's reaccumulation they came down engineered more sell side boom we're back above the opening and we're also above the uh, midnight opening price so overbought right <laughs> and then you can clearly see macro started the move post macro what did we do bam slam down right to all of our discount arrays so Inevitably, we had a tough day today where you'd be losing money if you pushed it in the opening range. And nothing really high probability set up until around 11 o'clock and then the lunch macro. So uh, it's just the reality. There's always going to be that underlying risk. Uh, there's always going to be times where you're losing money. It's not always going to be an amazing euphoric day. Um, I know, you know, everyone on social media, Twitter, whatnot, you know, they just have the perfect strike rate. Everything is always a win. <laughs> uh, only if you knew how fake social media was. All right, so that's it. That's everything I used for my trades today. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.